What's going on, YouTube? Just got off work. You know what I'm saying? Cultivate that energy, man. Before I start, man, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Give me an algorithm, man. I appreciate it. I show my gratitude by giving y'all more content. You know what I'm saying? More knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Shout out to anyone that's out there cultivating their energy. Going within, finding the answers from within. You know what I'm saying? Making that pivotal point in their life to, you know what I'm saying, stand for something and never fall for anything. Uh, I wanted to start off by shouting out all my brothers that's watching me, man. That's uh, aligning yourself with your chakras, you know what I'm saying, and making sure that everything is everything. Uh, I really don't got nothing to say, you know what I'm saying? I just want to uh, really check in on everybody that's doing this, you know what I'm saying, making sure everybody okay. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, early I lost my cool. You know what I'm saying? I called out, I called out uh, everybody, literally everybody. Like, there wasn't a person I didn't call out. I literally said, we can go to the bathroom with this on right here. Oh, y'all can't see it. With this on, with my, with my chest on. I told him, I said, yo, uh, y'all gotta say, is I won't smoke with you and I will take this off. I had, I had my ankle waist on too. I said, I'll take my ankle waist off and we can go to the bathroom and settle it. I promise you, I won't tell. Whatever happens, happens. We'll shake hands and go on about our business. Nobody stepped up to the plate. I mean, nobody. And I was waiting. I literally went from like damn near corner to corner in the warehouse, just looking around like, is anybody gonna step up? Cause I'm tired of y'all messing with me And now We can go ahead and get it on If you really want to Nobody stepped up And the thing was I feel like I needed to get that off my chest man Cause you know After a while After me Imploding I explode You know what I'm saying And um, when I implode It's never a good sight Because I'm imploding And ready to just spaz You know what I'm saying And I haven't been spazzing out on no pussy. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been spazzing out like how I used to. Like, my ex-ex-girlfriend, I used to spaz out on her pussy. Like, you can go ask her. Shout out to you, Scorpio. You feel me? I used to spaz out on her shit because I was going through shit and I'd be so fucking mad. But now, I just cultivate my energy and I spaz out in the gym but that hasn't been doing it I need some pussy to spaz out on I used to spaz out on the mother of my child you know but as y'all see y'all saw what happened so I wanted to spaz out on somebody's face and chest and I wanted to hit them in their solar plexus and let them lose their breath and then Pay them back uh, to life, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that they okay, you know what I'm saying? Are you okay? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's just how I've been feeling. Like with anybody, like I see somebody that's driving right next to me, he revving up his engine like he wanna stay next to me. Now he's speeding up and he's going down. After I just looked at him, you know what I'm saying? That's just weird, like, I don't be having time to play. I be really holding it in, man. Like, motherfuckers don't realize who the hell raised me. Like, my mama. You know what? I'm not even gonna speak on it. Just know. For those who know, know who raised me. So you know my temper. You know what I'm saying? So, I get off my rock at times. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I spaz and I snap. I don't know what the hell you behind me like that for. For real, for real. Whoever the fuck behind Okay, thank you. Give me some space, my guy. What the fuck? But, um, yeah, man, I ain't, I promise you, I'm going at my own pace from now on. I'm going at a turtle pace. So if a motherfucker got a problem with it, do something. That's, that's my motto. Because it's like, I'm not afraid to die. I know where I'm going. Um, you know, the only thing that I fear is God. Let me get that out the way. Other than that, what the hell I'm scared for? I was really thinking that shit at work. Like, bro, what is you, what is you looking away for? 
making eye contact and then not making like make eye contact with all these motherfucking women, all these beautiful women, all shapes and sizes. Let them let them feel your energy like you feeling theirs. You know what I'm saying? And for the niggas that's talking shit, don't even laugh at they jokes, none of that shit. You ain't friends with none of these niggas. You never been friends with none of these niggas. These niggas ain't your family. The motherfuckers that you love, dead and gone, man. So that, that's how I look at it. Like I'm done being fake. I'm done trying to be cordial. Like, yeah, I know how to, you know what I'm saying? I know how to communicate. Trust me, I know how to, you know, play that game in the Matrix. But for the most part, I ain't for none of that faking, fake kicking it no more. Like, for real, I promise you, like, if the joke ain't funny, I'm not laughing at the shit. If it's corny as shit, I'm going to let you know it's corny by not responding. I'm not going to laugh. So what the hell, so... It's just I'm finna be straight up. I'm, I'm, I promise you, I'm finna be straight up. No, I'm not. I'm not sugarcoating shit. If I'm fucking with a girl, if I'm fucking with the mother of my child, and we kicking, and she telling me some fake ass shit or some weak ass, shit, weird ass shit, trying to make me laugh. Guess what? I'm not finna laugh. I'm not finna laugh at all. Like for real, I'm not gonna laugh at all. When I'm driving in traffic, I'm finna go the exact speed limit. If it say 40, I'm going 40. And I dare you to beat me your horn and get mad. I don't give a fuck. I'm finna really obey the laws. <laughs> For real. You know. And live righteous. I'm literally, I'm gonna literally live righteous. Like, and ever since of that word of that code, I'm gonna live righteous, man. For real. I ain't got time. I ain't got time to play with nobody kids, man. That ain't mine. Cause that's how I view everybody like some little ass kids acting like it and shit. Not mature, not having some fucking common sense. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna raise my voice at no like that was the last time that I raised my voice. I'm calling it. I'm not I'm finna be so damn cool, calm and relaxed. I got somebody that's next to me, she's a woman. She's literally driving my speed. <laughs> I promise you, she's driving my speed. I'm going 40 miles per hour. That's what it is. Shadi is literally right next to me right now. I'm not gonna put the camera on her. It's funny though. I'm going at my pace and my speed, bro. From now on, I don't give a fuck. And you shouldn't either for my subscribers. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I love every to everybody that's watching this video. I love you, like for real, from from my heart. Like I'm living through my heart chakra. I'm being pure as can be right now. I love you to the to the young niggas, to the people that's older than me. I love you for the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. I love everybody, man. Just don't fuck with me, man. For real, because I have no problem with going to see my creator. Do you? Do you have that problem? I don't. I really don't, bro. I don't, man. You can look me dead in my shit, and you can tell I don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> For real. Living in this fucked up world, man, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I can have all the money in the world, bro. It ain't gonna bring none of the people that I can enjoy it with back. You know that song, Love Yours, man? I really was studying that shit, and when you appreciate yourself and you love yourself and you love the people that's around you, man, that's more fulfilling. The struggle is more fulfilling. All of these rappers, the real rappers that I listen to, they always talk about the struggle and how they loved it and how they hate their success. Why do you think that? Seriously, why do you think that they hate the motherfucking success? Because the success brings everything that's fake out of these motherfuckers. Now all of a sudden, they always knew you was gonna make it. Now all of a sudden, they knew you was gonna have that motherfucking bag. Now all of a sudden they got their hand out like they was right there with you every step of the way. It's all fucking fake. I see that shit coming a mile of fucking way, man. For real. I can see the fake ass attitudes. And, oh, you ain't shit. I, I can feel the rumors being spreaded by me already. <laughs> like, for real, man. Do I give a fuck? Hell no. Because for the niggas that's going to be spreading the rumors and talking all this and that, you ain't gonna do shit when you see me because all we gonna have is space and opportunity and you ain't gonna take it. And then all you doing when you talking to your bitch, talking shit, is making her wanna fuck with me even more because she like, 
damn, you keep his dick in your mouth and I ain't even been able to suck that motherfucker yet. Like, you make me want to fuck on this nigga. So, for all my real niggas, man, and real bitches that's going to watch these videos in the near future, remember this, man. Stop wasting time gossiping about what another motherfucker doing and focus on what the fuck you got going on. Mind your business, man. Stay the fuck out of mind. You feel me? Live by that motto. Don't worry about what another motherfucker doing. It's okay to politic and, you know what I'm saying, sword, I mean, iron sharp and iron, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to constructive criticism, but as far as gossiping and that nigga think he did, like, nigga, who gives a fuck? Like, if you come at me trying to gossip and you trying to talk to me about it, what another motherfucker's doing and, hey, did you see this? No, I didn't. I didn't see it. Real shit. I didn't see it. Didn't care to see it. Didn't go searching for it. Only thing that I'm seeking is motherfucking knowledge and understanding. Understanding. Uh, understanding. <laughs> Sound like Kwanda. Understanding and motherfucking wisdom. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Like so, I ain't. Uh, nah, man. Right now, I'm at the gym. I just left work. I'm finna go in here and get it in. I'm finna motherfucking shadow box and then I'm gonna hit the bag with my motherfucking 40 pound vest on. You know what I'm saying? Fuck around and leave my jeans on and do the shit. Put my boxing shoes on. Cause I, why? Cause I don't give a fuck. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the bag. Once I feel like I put in enough work, then I'm gonna take my motherfucking vest off and I'm gonna hit the bag. And I'm gonna feel fucking light around this bitch. Feeling like I'm floating. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man, I feel lovely. I feel lovely, don't you agree? <laughs> can't you tell that I'm just at peace and ineffable? The feeling is ineffable. I can't explain it. It's just I'm just connected. I'm like, for real. Like, I, I like talking like this anyways. I don't like raising my voice. If you ain't hear me, you ain't fucking hear me then. Oh, well, I'm not finna repeat myself. Fuck I look like. Goddamn tape recorder, nigga. The fuck? But yeah, man, that's just my little two cents about this fucked up matrix, man, that we love so much, but hate so much. That don't make us happy, but it make us tough. You know, I love every single last one of y'all, man. I actually mean that shit, man. Don't think I ever got any hate for you or anybody around this bitch. You know why? Because I don't even care enough to put that energy out, man. I'm trying to bear fruit of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and positivity, and spreading love around this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about hating on a nigga. That shit ain't gonna give me nothing. You know what I'm saying? But punished. Hating on the motherfucker. Never hated in my life. I can honestly say that. Never was envious or jealous. I was just confused like a motherfucker as to why motherfuckers is treating me like this and then I woke up one day and I saw why everything started getting more clear I started asking God for answers and God got to revealing everything for me and ever since then it's been up and it's gonna stay up until I elevate up you feel me I love you all that's my little two cents and um more content is gonna be on the way because experiencing this matrix you gon' have shit to talk about. I don't give a fuck what the hell you talking about. Like, once you put your phone down and you actually, like, bro, you gon' have shit to say. Trust me. That's why so many content creators on this shit. Nigga, you gotta tell, you gotta tell somebody that ain't gonna think you crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. Peace.